Hi everyone and welcome to Hobby World. Today I'm going to show you how you can make an incredible looking curtain for your slot car track. And best of all, this project requires absolutely no sewing skills. It is very affordable and you can do it in less than a day. So why do you need a curtain below the track? First of all, it just looks really good and it frames the slot car track so it captures the viewer's attention. The curtain also provides a great way of hiding a potential storage base. Personally, I store lots of boxes and track pieces for my slot car tracks below the racetrack itself. This way, by using a curtain, I can hide all of the mess and get a much cleaner and nicer look. When adding a curtain, one of the first questions that pop up is, which color should it be? Personally, I take a look at the track and decide what color suits it the best. For this track, I decided on dark blue, as the track's main colors is blue and white. If you need some more generic curtains, you could consider a white and black chessboard pattern or black. But as I said before, look at the track and decide what looks best. For the track I've been working on over here, my HK Apocalypse Borderlands inspired slot car track, I have decided on a black and white chessboard pattern curtain as I think this will suit the track best. When you are about to make the curtain you should start by measuring your track. You don't want the curtain to uh, go all the way down to the floor. It needs a bit of height above the floor. How much? I usually go for a couple of centimeters. So you will need to measure the height from the bottom of down here and all the way up to the place where the curtain connects with the tra track. In this case, it connects around this place, so I decided to make this curtain around 75 centimeters. You will also need to measure the track wide and length, so you know exactly how much curtain you're going to need. Instead of making a really long piece that went from one end of the slot car track to the other, I decided on making several lesser pieces. I really like the look of this, and it also made it much easier accessing the storage space below the track. When you have measured, it is time to buy the fabric. It is very unlikely that you can find a curtain in the stores that is the exact measurement you need. So check out the size of the fabric and consider how much you need for the whole track. When considering what to buy, remember that you will need around 10 cm extra material along the edges as we are hemming the curtain. The curtain I found was 140 cm wide, which was perfect for making a single section on the slot car track. It was also 300 cm high, which was also pretty nice because then I could cut three pieces out of one single curtain and thereby reducing the cost and time I needed to spend drastically. So depending on which curtain you buy, you might be able to make several pieces for your track out of a single large piece of fabric. It is often more affordable buying a large curtain and cutting it up into several lesser pieces that fit the track height. So if you're not in a rush, it's a good idea to take your time in selecting the right fabric. Take a look in several stores, check online, check the physical stores and you might get lucky in finding something on sale. So take your time in selecting the right fabric. That's it. Now that we have the fabric, it is time to do a bit of work. For this you will need an iron, the curtain fabric you just bought, a scissor, marking pen and hemming web with backing paper. Start by placing the fabric you bought on a large flat area such as this table. Remove the top piece of the curtain as we need a clean piece of fabric for the next step of the process. As I have decided to make my pieces of curtain for the slot car track the same width as this piece of curtain I bought, I will not need to do any hemming on the edges or the sides. I will only need to hem the top up here and then the bottom that will need to be a 75 cm long curtain. 
mark a straight line around five centimeters from the top. I use a spirit level like this as it is absolutely straight and make sure that it follows the curtain's top all the way and it is perfectly straight. That is very important. So now that the line has been marked, it's very clear that this is going to be the top of my curtain. Before doing anything else, make sure that you are working on the back side of the curtain and not on the front. When that is clear, you can take the hemming web. The hemming web has this sort of glue-like piece down here and then it has some paper on this side. You will need to add the paper side upwards along the line you made before, like this. And when it is in place and you are absolutely sure that it is placed correctly, you will apply the iron and iron it for 15 seconds at a time in each area. First of all, making sure that you make the glue stick on one side and then you'll work all the way over the curtain until all of the hemming web has been applied. So, like this. Now I'll leave it here for 15 seconds. Make sure that you do not use any steam, this just needs to be a hot iron. When this part is complete, you will just proceed to the next part, but just make sure that everything has been heated up using the iron, that way the glue will work. Continue doing this until all of the hemming web has been attached from one side of the curtain to the other side. After this you can flip the spare piece of curtain up along the hemming web using the fact that this has some cardboard on the back so you can feel the edge here. It is very important that this is done correctly so you feel the edge all the way down along the curtain. The backing paper will ensure that you can feel where the edge needs to be. After you flipped over the curtain along the hemming webs backing paper you can apply a hot iron to, um, to the curtain thereby making sure that you get a nice clean fold down here. This way when you have removed the backing paper you will still be able to locate this correctly. Now you can flip the entire edge over again and remove the backing paper from the hemming web. Sometimes it will do something like this and you will need to do a bit of work getting it all off. But make sure that you get all of the hemming papers, backing paper off before proceeding. As we ironed in a nice fold before, we should be able to simply flip this curtain over and it should end up the right place. Make sure that it's completely straight once more, like that. When we have flipped over the curtain up here along the edge we ironed before, you can apply the iron like this, thereby making the um, glue from the hemming web stick on the other side. Make sure that you keep the hot iron here for at least 15 seconds, so we have a nice bond between the glue and the fabric. When, this has been, uh, when the first part has been glued, just proceed to the second part and continue doing that all along the edge. And now take a look at that. We have created a nice, smooth, clean and straight edge here on this curtain. Now we only need to do it on the other side. I will make a mark on one side then I'll make a mark around the middle, following the line that the curtain had when it was folded. And I will place a mark on the other end. Now, just as before, you will need to place your guide like this and draw a line from one end to the other end and this needs to be absolutely straight making sure that it is actually 75 centimeters.
right there. And then you will need to create the fold. So around five centimeters from your marking, you'll need to create a secondary line. And this is a, this um, guide is around five centimeters. So that's actually just perfect. So I can just use this to make the line like that. So now I have these two lines. Now that we have both of the lines marked here, we can take a scissor and we can cut the bottom line all along that at the hemming web on top of the uh, top line that is 75 centimeters from this one to this one so we need the curtain to be exactly this long so we will add the hemming web here flip this piece on top of it and then we will use the iron to make sure that we have a sharp edge remove the backing paper of the hemming web just as before and then we can make sure that the glue sticks on both sides using the hot iron. That's basically how you make a curtain for your slot car track. It was quite easy, it didn't take that long. I'll guess that in a medium sized slot car track to small sized slot car track, you can make all of this stuff in a single day and even mount it on the track. And that's what we're about to talk to about right now. We are going to talk a bit about how to mount this on the track. And with this project, I was going for a very easy solution. I wanted it to be cheap, I wanted it to be fast. So I designed this small clip in a 3D design program and uh, then I 3D printed it. And this part has been designed so you can slide the curtain into it and it will lock the curtain like this. So by mounting these one, uh, below the slot car track uh, along the edge you will be able to simply slide your curtain up into it and these ones will keep the curtain in place. When you are about to install the curtain you will need to attach these clips below the track. I made this uh, panel here on the side so that it was a bit longer down than the bottom of the track itself as you can see here with my finger. This way I could hide the clip a bit above the uh, bottom of this uh, panel and thereby I could hide the entire assembly for the curtain behind this so you couldn't uh, see anything below it so I just have this nice clean look of the curtain coming down here. The two uh, edges here, the two slots that's placed inside this uh, clip is made so when you have this assembly of the uh, curtains where you have one that's going behind the other you can simply slide the first one into this slot here and the second one that's going behind into this slot. And if you ever have any of these folds in the curtain, I've had a couple of them because I uh, tried to move it a bit around, you can simply put a hand up here and slide the curtain a bit further up into the clip and thereby tightening this so you can have a completely clean look on the entire curtain all the way around the track. This is very easy and it's pretty cheap making these. So I will of course share the uh, STL or the 3D model down here in the description below so you can simply uh, get it and uh, get these 3D printed. 3D printing is a process and you see 3D printers almost everywhere so it should be fairly easy getting uh, someone to print these for you if you don't own a printer yourself. Let's just take a look at the track and see how it looks with the curtain. I am personally very, very proud of this. This looks so nice. It uh, has really made the entire track look much cleaner. It looks much, much better and it brings the track in focus. The curtain also provides a great way for storing all kinds of stuff down here below it. I have so many track pieces and they are located very nicely below this slot car track. And um, this is really nice because you can't see the mess. The curtain hides it just well. And keeps the entire appearance of the track nice, clean and smooth. So I'm very happy about this and I hope you like it too. And just to round this all up, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video, that it has inspired you, maybe even made you want to make your own curtain for a slot car track, who knows. I can definitely recommend getting into the slot car track hobby if you are interested, because this is a great hobby. I have had so much fun with this track together with my friends and uh, I'll definitely recommend building one of these. 
There are so many skills required. You can do some electronics, you can work on the track, you can make scenery and all kinds of stuff. There is also woodwork. There are so much stuff to do with the slot car track. So this one still needs a bit of work. I need to finish the pit section and so on. I am going to replace this control panel, but um, I just th think that the curtain below this track really made it stand out. So I'm very happy about this. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please write a comment down below and uh, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this content. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.